In this video, we will be starting the second method to calculate your in, uh, national income, that is your income method, or also known as factor payment method, or your distributed share method. So, in this video, what we take your factor incomes. Your factor incomes have to told you before that the incomes earned by a person as a reward for rendering factor services, that is land, labor, capital, entrepreneur are your uh, factor services, and in you get factor payments like your rent, wages, interest and profit. So these are your factor payments. So factor income method includes your factor incomes. So your classification. Of factor incomes. Are. Your compensation. of employees that includes your wages and salaries in cash payment in kinds employers contribution to social security schemes and pension on retirement so these are the sub parts 1 2 3 and four that are included in your compensation of employees operating surplus it refers to the income from property and entrepreneurship number one is your rent number two will be your interest number three is your profit so profits are further split into three parts that is your dividends Corporate profit tax and undistributed profits. So this makes your operating surplus. And the last is your mixed income. Your mixed income refers to the income of the self-employed person using their la own land labor capital and entrepreneurship to produce goods and services these incomes are the mixture of wages rent interest and profits so this is the reason they are called the mixed incomes so when you add the compensation of employee plus operating surplus that is your rent interest profit and profit there are three sub parts plus your mixed income you get your national domestic product at factor cost so with the income method you get your net domestic product at factor cost that is the factor incomes generated within the domestic territory of a country is your ndp and fc and what you are taking is your factor income that are generated in your domestic territory this is your net domestic product at factor cost so you have to calculate your national income your national income is your nnp at fc so if NDP at FC you add on net factor income from abroad you get your NNP at FC. So in this way you can find out the national income using your income method. 
some precautions regarding income method number one is transfer payments are not included that is your old age pension is your one sided payment so it is not included unemployment allowances scholarship pocket expenses etc should not be included in the national income second is income from illegal activities are not included that is your smuggling your robbery theft gambling these are should not be included in your national income commission paid should be included because it's a new income that is generating in the economy fourth is brokerage on sale or purchase should be included because this is again a new income that is generated in the economy income in terms of lottery should not be included Uh, imputed rent that is the owner occupied houses is to be treated along with rent as a component of factor income so imputed rent should be included corresponding to production for sales consumption there should be generation of income in the economy it should be taken into the account so corresponding to production for self consumption should be included then your corporate tax dividends and non distributed sub parts of profit so they are uh, included income tax is paid out of your compensation of employee so it should not be separately considered considered while calculating the income in the factoring payment method so these are some precautions that you take into consideration while calculating income from income method or factor payment method or also known as distributed share method I hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us